and what better way to start than with this little video here from another youtuber right youtube rewind is going on now but i don't really care about that i know you guys don't either but this olivia jade um interview is very interesting i'm sure you guys are aware of the whole olivia jade thing right um two parents or two co-stars from full house were allegedly were kind of um accused of essentially what bribing a university in america to make sure their kids got into the school by doctoring the records and making it look like they were on the rowing team all this sort of mad stuff right one one defendant um was in prison for 14 days got released early took a punishment in stride said i'm sorry took full ownership of it and people have forgotten about it the other one has been a bit more steadfast and has rejected any kind of plea bargain and essentially wants to take it to court and of course if you know anything about the american judicial system if you don't take their plea bargain they will make an example of you so she's gonna be made an example of and unfortunately in the um, you know with, when when these issues do come about there are always um some you know innocent victims or quote-unquote innocent victims that get destroyed as well and none other than olivia J. this young girl was the daughter of one of the defendants and she, before this i had no idea she was a very prominent youtuber a very popular youtuber again what i mentioned earlier before uh, the whole peloton ad and in terms of just the um that chiara casarigi woman that italian girl that's big on depop i don't understand i don't get it i don't get why girls are into following vloggers or youtubers or uh influencers who are clearly who clearly come from very very wealthy families i don't get the interest i really don't understand why people follow that sort of stuff kardashians i understand to show blah 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 but why would you follow an influencer a girl pretending to be like your average you know next door your girl next door she's not she's got a g-wagon and she's 16 years old that isn't girl next door do you know what i mean like that car is probably worth more than people's salaries that they're watching it day in day and that's her daily driver right that's her like standard car or that's a weekend getaway car to malibu or some stuff i just don't understand why girls are into watching because i don't think you could get the equivalent thing for a dude a dude will get bored of that really quickly like watching a really rich dude Galavanta, like um i can't remember the last time i watched a gianni vachi video you remember that guy the most interesting guy on the internet like it was a time and period where i was obsessed with watching his clips on the instagram then i just got bored of it and i'm sure that's the same thing that happens to like um dan belzerian right he probably recycles through he probably cycles through his fans probably there's a group of people that hang around and watch and watch all his content and click like but for the most part people dip in and out of his content because you know you know you're going to get with dan belzerian but with girls they, they kind of stick by these extremely rich um white girls who are like you know they live a completely different reality to most people in the world i don't understand it but anyway so um she's a young girl i feel sorry for in that regard but i'm also very hesitant to feel sorry for her because i'm i don't believe that you can be uh, a daughter of a high-flying hollywood elite person like this person that's accused of it i forgot her name laurie something maybe is her name i don't think you can be a daughter of that woman and not know what's happening behind your back because i think it was uh, reported once that she was against going to university or going to college because she wanted to pursue her influencer uh, um life you know i think she had a makeup line in the works that got cancelled of course due to the bad press and she went to continue being a youtuber she's pretty popular she has like what's the video on here she has 1.95 million subscribers and of course this a positive video's already got like half four, four and a half million views on it so she's doing fairly well on youtube right she's on her way up to you know she's probably already a full-time youtuber if she wants to be especially outside of whatever money she gets from her parents not watching her pockets but just calling a fact a fact so she was obviously against going to college as any young girl would do but as any responsible parent you'd probably be like no at least get an education to this level so that you have something to fall back on quote unquote so it's unlikely that she had no knowledge at all that her parents were, you know, essentially trying to doctor her results in order to make her uh, be successful. I, I don't think that's possible. So it makes this whole apology thing weird. But then also um, I'm thinking she's what, 18, 17, 18? Should she be punished forever for the actions of her parents, her overzealous, um, ambitious parents who are essentially trying to live vicariously through her? Should she be punished for that? I don't think so. I don't think it's fair. But this apology video is very funny. The amount of jump cut she has on a two minute video is just insane, but also I appreciate the sentiment behind it. Let's quickly play it for you guys. Hey, it's Olivia Jade. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously I've been gone for a really long time. And as much as I wish I could talk about all of this, it's really hard for me to say this just because I know that it's something that needs to be addressed. It's just unfortunately, which is also why I didn't know exactly when I should 
come back to YouTube. Um, but the reason for that is just because I'm legally not allowed to speak on anything going on right now. She's allowed to speak on it, really, legally. There's no law against it, but I'm sure the lawyers are advised against it because her mum was dumb enough to reject the plea bargain. So anything she says could get misconstrued, could get pulled apart. You know, people like TMZ are just waiting, they're sitting like vultures waiting to pick apart a statement. So it's probably wise for not to say anything. But yeah, um, I feel kind of sorry for her. I'm not going to lie, man. Even if she is aware of what happened, I'm sure she doesn't have any possible... Like, if you're a kid at that age, and you know, what are you going to do? Defy your parents and run away and then they cut the purse strings. And then you can't pay the fucking fuel on your G-Wagon anymore. You're going to just go along with it. But she probably knew best. The idea of her going doing a YouTube thing full time. It's pretty, you know what's weird too? She has Hollywood parents who are in the entertainment industry. Why wouldn't they think her being a YouTuber was probably a better route to go down than trying to go to USC? What benefits are you going to get from having a college education? Getting into, not getting into debt, but like spending her time going there for what? Just so she could be, just so she could make a, and again, that's how you know this whole thing was just so she could make her parents proud. It wasn't because of her education, which is the sad part of it. That's the other part. That's the thing that a lot of people don't have sympathy for for rich people. Like imagine being a rich kid and having parents who are very controlling. So you might have your own passions that you're into, things that you want to get involved in outside of, you know, living this lavish lifestyle. But your parents are so hell bent on maybe proving or uh, maybe justifying their money. I don't know what it is, but because it's like I don't get why a high flying media, a high flying entertainment person in Hollywood want their kid to go to college anyway, especially if they've got a, a hustle on the side that's generating some traction that's generating some income for them especially because i can imagine she could pay her own bills solely from youtube probably if she's smart enough and she has enough media um she has enough brands reaching out to her especially even just on instagram i'm sure she could do it these she's probably not fighting it out as much somebody's quote unquote, huge instagram models are but she's probably doing pretty well but her parents wanted to go to usc so what so they can show her off at a, at a cocktail party that she's not even going to be at a part of me is like, should I come back to YouTube right now? Because I, it's been so long and I actually really, really miss it. Like oh, I genuinely so. miss filming. I feel like a huge part of me is just not the same because that jump coming not the same. Like what, what, what could have been missing there? She was she um in for that long. Not the same. But fair enough to her, man. Fair enough. It's something yeah, that I'm really passionate about. It's something I really like to do. But you know what? Credit to her uh, for apologizing in two minutes and not making it 13, right? Or 27. Like, big ups for her in that regard. That's really credit. That's really commendable because there's too many of these YouTubers who just let the fucking video go on and on and on. Because she essentially, she didn't say, she said a lot of things without saying anything, but at least it's two minutes. It's not, you know, half an hour, 45, 50. She's not crying as well. That's good. She's not holding a pet in her arms or in her lap um, to gain sympathy. That's good. Just all those things make it very, very wholesome. Uh, but I also didn't know I debated for like seven or eight months. Like, well, if I can't talk about it, is there a point in coming back and not being able to say anything? I want to come back because I want to come back. There's no wow. point Brain in me up. just talking for 10 minutes to the camera about how I wish I could say something when I really can't. Good girl. So I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for your patience or if you stuck around for nine months just waiting. I really appreciate it. This is the best I can do and I want to move on with my life and not trying to be in a selfish way. Uh, it's so hard because I'm not trying to like make this about me or like how I've been because it, it's not the point of this. Though I'm terrified to make this video. And to come back, I know that I also want to start taking smaller steps in the right direction. You know what, what happens when a, if a mum gets to, goes goes to prison though? That's gonna be brutal, isn't it? Like what happens then? <sighs> but maybe she, maybe the lawyers are confident enough that she won't get any prison time. But I doubt it because the other woman did, isn't it? Right? What's her name? What's Olivia Jade's mum's name? Olivia Jade mum. Who is that? Is that Laurie McLaughlin? Who's that one? One of them is Laurie something. Oh, yes, yeah, Laurie McLaughlin. She was the one that was doing... She was taking fucking autographs and posing for selfies on her way to court. She just not give a flying fuck. I kind of rate that, though. She's a boss. She was not giving an F. She said, I'm not guilty. Um... <laughs> she was taking pictures outside the court. Let's, let's look at her pictures. Yeah? Let's, let's quickly see this. I'll shoot and check you guys out. <laughs> look at the differences in her appearances, right? Of her coming out of court. So this is her, I think, smiling the first couple of times, right? 
waving to the crowds and shit, right? Being smirk and funny. And then look at her now. Look at the difference in the demure. Look at that. Look at the faces. Yeah. The the husband in the back was always nervous, or whoever this guy is with a little dimple on his chin. He was very nervous from the beginning. The wife was trying to put on a good face. And now look at her. She knows she fucked up. Like, that's a face that somebody knows that they fucked up. Um, they says here that she was what? They're going to face impossible prison time, entertainment tonight. Makes sense though, but again, if she oh, God damn it, man. God damn it, these rich people. What is wrong with you? Really? Um, the article says the following Nancy Grace has advice for Laurie McCook as she faces prison time. Nancy Grace is offering, oh, we don't care what Nancy Grace thinks. Fuck off. Uh, what is Laurie McCook going to do? What's, what's happening with him? Is she going to face prison time or not? Uh, 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 Olivia J, chest. Look at that headline. Laurie Goffman daughter shows off her chest. No, she doesn't. She's just posing for a fucking picture. So his websites are horrible, isn't it? Um, let's see, Mary McCook in prison. Let's see what's happening here. Is she facing any prison time? Christmas in prison, National Enquirer, dying to avoid prison. Okay, we don't know anything. It's all gossip. No one knows. No one cares. We move on with this story. Um, but yeah, that was the most interesting part of it, I think, overall. So welcome back to YouTube, Olivia Jade. Hope you all do okay. Hope your mum doesn't go to prison. Hope your mum doesn't go to pen. You know, as I say, the, the kids say back in the day. But anyway, this is